All right, guys, so we're here after the Google Keynote and getting our hands on what we really came here to look at, the Google Pixel Slate. And there's a lot of things we need to cover real quickly uh, as we're just kind of getting our initial hands on with this thing. So let's dive in. All right, so what we're seeing here isn't crazy surprising. We saw the leaks. We kind of knew what to expect. But I'm going to tell you, seeing this thing in the flesh, it is absolutely gorgeous. And so uh, think about high-end phones. Think about iPads, that kind of stuff. We've got this nice curved glass. Uh, perfectly symmetrical bezels, front firing speakers. It's just, it's really, really, really well put together. Uh, this dark color just looks incredible and it, it just kind of feels like this new refreshing start to the whole uh, Pixelbook, uh, Chrome OS lineup. And, and that's kind of the way Google positioned it. Like they're reimagining Chrome OS. They're reimagining the way that we'll use this device moving forward. And just as we've talked on the channel before now, this thing is going to make a perfect tablet and a perfect desktop kind of all in one. So let's let's look at some of the things that we know about this device already. You got a fingerprint scanner right up here on top with the power button. It behaves as you'd expect, but once you go to set it up, it's actually gonna be able to log you in just with your fingerprint right up top. Front firing speakers that Google says will provide uh, good bass response and nice crisp highs. Impossible in this environment to test those, but they're there and it's cool that they've thought through that. So we're talking about uh, 3,000 by 2,000 pixel display, so very, very crisp. It's exactly 12.3 inches, so the same size and, and layout as the original Pixelbook, uh, but even a higher uh, pixel density. And so uh, Google's also put a lot of tech behind the screen, and, and we'll unpack all that stuff as the days go by after this. But really what they're saying is, hey, we, we've, we've put together a display here that can have really high fresh refresh rates, um, it's going to look really great for video and gaming and pretty much everything you're going to do on this thing. And that's really cool because this isn't just a desktop or just a laptop. It's, it's going to be a device that can kind of perform in all these different ways. And so you see the keyboard down here. We're going to get to that in a second. And you also see the, the pen. This is the exact same pen as we had last year, just a different color. So it kind of matches the color scheme going on here. We'll talk about the keyboard in just a second. But as you can see, we can pop this thing off. There are pogo pins on the bottom. That's what actually connects it to the keyboard. So that's pretty cool. We don't have to worry about Bluetooth or pairing or any of that stuff. It's magnetic. So it clasps right into place without much work. But then when you take this thing off here, I mean, look at the thinness we got here, seven millimeters. I mean, this thing is super, super thin. I mean, almost as thin as a USB-C port and it feels it, it looks it, the thing just looks great. It's very, very light in the hand. The aspect ratio is great for holding in either portrait or landscape mode. The screen is nice uh, just to look at from any angle. It's, it's bright. It's not quite as bright as the Pixelbook, uh, but it's pretty bright. <laughs> we're, and I, this is a lot of stuff. I know we're going through a bunch of things here. Uh, we have an eight megapixel front facing and rear facing camera. Uh, we're talking about portrait mode in this thing. Uh, so it's gonna be the first Chromebook uh, to actually have a decent camera on it, it seems. The, uh, the camera software in here so far right now, it's a little sketchy, uh, but eventually it's gonna be basically behave similar to the Google camera on Pixel phones. Uh, but overall, this thing is just so well put together. Nice clicky volume rocker on the side and, and everything just feels great when you're holding it like a tablet as it should. And so all the things that we've talked about before, all the, all the UI enhancements for tablets are all here. So when we're in here and we swipe up, uh, if we hide the shelf, we can swipe up right to our tray. And so, I mean, all these things that we've already talked about before, we're seeing here and we're seeing why it is that Google's put time into that. Additionally, this is a separate purchase. You're talking about a keyboard here that has the same feel, the same travel, the same goodness of the Pixelbook keyboard, which just with rounded keys, it is backlit. You can't really see it in this environment. A nice glass trackpad. And I can tell you from using it, sitting on a couch or whatever, and just messing with it, it feels very similar to using the Pixelbook keyboard. So that's a huge win for something that's this thin, this light, and really it's more of a folio case. The whole thing comes together, again with pogo pins, magnetically, and then on the back, this piece can mag magnetically adhere at any point. So that's how you kind of achieve the different viewing angles whenever you put it in your lap. And it's, it's sturdy. Uh, the thing's not wobbling around as you use it. And so when you're ready to close it up, whole thing closes down and you've got this nice carrying case to kind of protect it as you go. So kind of wrapping this up, we didn't get to spend a ton of time with this device. And 
It's still in uh, pre-production software. We're not going to actually see this thing till later in the year. So I don't know. Sometime in quarter four, it'll actually come out. You can pre-order or get on a wait list right now on the Google Store. But it starts at $599, and presumably that's going to be for a Celeron model. We're talking it's going to have an i3, an i5, and an i7 variant with different amounts of storage. So there's going to be lots of different variations and, and a wide variety of price points on this thing as well. But the keyboard is a stable price point, and it's offered from Google as well at $199. And so you're talking about an entry-level version of this device. All said, if you get the keyboard and the device for about $800, that's a couple hundred dollars less than the original Pixelbook. So that's a, a good move forward. And hopefully people will be able to get into this and get a, a really, really good piece of hardware because nothing else changes in the base model of this device for around $600 if they just want the tablet and bring your own keyboard to the game. And that's not to mention the fact that you can dock this thing with any other keyboard and any other mouse. And as we've shown before, get a full Chrome OS desktop experience as well. So uh, this is really a cool step forward, I think, for Chrome OS in general. And we're really excited in the coming months, whenever we finally get our hands on it, to get a full review. But we wanted to give you a quick hands-on right here at the Google event. Hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe button, and for more, we'll see you later.